So anyone with an A1C of 5.7 to 6.5%, we would give a diagnosis of prediabetes to, and then over 6.5% is that diabetes diagnosis. Now, when we're looking at someone with type 1 diabetes and maybe their onset is slow, we don't usually use the word prediabetes. We would use stage 1 or stage 2 type 1 diabetes, and that's a little bit different when we're looking at that autoimmune progression. And as a reminder, with hemoglobin A1C is that average over the last three months of blood sugar. It doesn't give us a standard deviation or an understanding of how many highs and how many lows we're having. It's just looking at the average. So I hope this is helpful for you. Also know that hemoglobin A1C can be changed or not accurately represented if someone has anemia or some other things in their blood system that can change that. And so just understand that A1C is not always an accurate measure if there's other things going on met metabolically. I hope this is helpful. And if you'd like more diabetes and blood sugar tools, please head over to my channel and subscribe. Thanks.